Hi grade 12 student, so in this video I'm going to explain part 2 of manufacturing. So remember every time when you prepare manufacturing guys, don't just expect that you are going to be required to prepare a factory overhead, how to cal calculate a direct material, direct labor, as well as production cost statement. Also remember you are going to find part 2 which is going to contain a calculation of break even point cost to pay unit and other theory part so in this video i'm going to show you that so that you will be able to know what you should expect okay so let's take this question paper uh, it's dbe 2018 break time manufacturers okay break time manufacturers is a manufacturing business that produce lunch box for school children okay it was question 2 2.3.1 okay let's start with uh, 2.3.1 they said calculate the following for the year end 2030 april 2018 okay number one they said we have to calculate direct labor cost okay we're gonna start with direct labor cost okay number one let's take the information information on 30 april uh, as you can see under a total cost of direct labor they didn't give us anything but we know cost per unit and what you need to know which is very important guys be able to classify everything that fall under fixed uh, cost everything that fall under variable cost so that you will be able to know how are you going to deal with this transaction because now we know direct labor is variable which means that variable depend on how many units produced which means that we need to check how many units produced so that we can multiply by per unit uh, amount that we are given okay per unit amount is 756 and now let's check number of units produced it was 331500 331500 number of units produced so you multiply so that you can get how many how much amount of direct labor cost so it's gonna give you two million five or six one foot very simple just like that then the following one calculated the break even point break even point guys know the formula which says a fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost a unit that's the formula that you need to apply so if you check our fixed cost on the table uh, we are given amount of three million one hundred and two thousand five hundred and a selling price they give us amount of 28 rand minus variable cost they give us total you don't have to include the one that we have of direct labor because they already give us a total of 19 rand 19 rand 50 okay so if you do this calculation you are going to get 365,000 it's unit break even points is normally in unit okay unless otherwise they specify okay 2.3.2 explain why the owner should be concerned about the break even point and quote the figures why the owner should worry about this break even point of 365,000 units. Okay, let's check how many units uh, sold. Remember, this is the point where there's no profit, no loss. Business must produce more than this good in order for them to do what? To make a profit. Okay, so let's check. They produce and sold how many units? Three, three, one, five hundred, and their breaking point, their break even point, is three sixty five thousand. In conclusion, company didn't make any profit. Company did not make any profit. In other words, company has made a loss because. No profit, no loss point is 365 and they produce and sold below 
so obviously uh, the owner is going to be concerned about uh, this okay the next one uh, the owner is concerned about the direct labor cost number one okay 2.3.3 okay the first part explain why the owner will not be satisfied with the direct labor cost per unit as you can see from 2017 direct labor cost is 560 and from 2018 uh, is 756 simply means that there is a increase and now let's take if you calculate the percentage increase from 560 to 760 you will find that it has increased by 85 percent this is way more than inflation rate remember inflation rate is between four to six normally in south africa but the increase of labor it has increased by 35 percent this is too much it must flow with what inflection so obviously uh, the owner is not going to be satisfied about this okay so now the other question they say that give solution to this problem how can the owner solve this kind of problem number one monitor over time you can find that uh, these people are just working over time unnecessarily which is increasing what the cost of direct labor number two make sure to monitor normal hours okay in other words guys in this point i'm saying that you can find that guys um, these people during the normal time they are not working they are just chilling without producing anything and they are just getting paid so there must be someone who are monitoring whether these people are working or not so i hope you learned something guys please make sure that you subscribe and like this video so those who want to join our extra class is only 600 per month make sure that you come and join us as early as possible so that you will attend with other learners every sunday live on telegram i'm gonna see you guys